They are top secret missions, manned by specially trained intelligence and military elite. Covert operations using unconventional tactics outside the standard protocol. You have the ability to buy cutting edge equipment, cutting edge gear from clothes that you're wearing, to weaponry, to optics, to even experimental types of food that we're looking at to give guys more sustainable energy in the field. January 24th, 2012. Moments before President Barack Obama was to begin his State of the Union address, he commended the U.S. Secretary of Defense, Leon Panetta. Good job tonight. Good job tonight. But why? Kept secret from those outside the Defense Department was the knowledge that only minutes earlier, an elite group of American Special Forces, known as SEAL Team 6, had stormed a Somali compound in a daring rescue mission. In a matter of minutes, two hostages were extracted, unharmed, and President Obama confirmed the rescue with their families. It is the same elite unit which only eight months earlier carried out an ultra-secret, highly classified mission, Operation Neptune Spear. 38 minutes after U.S. helicopters set down at a secret Abbottabad, Pakistan compound, the world's most wanted terrorist, Osama bin Laden, was dead. The United States has conducted an operation that killed Osama bin Laden, the leader of Al-Qaeda. Within hours, news of the clandestine black operation, or black op, spread across the globe, proclaiming the men of SEAL Team 6 as American heroes. But just who are the elite soldiers behind these top-secret operations? As the SEALs stormed inside, they rely on their close-quarters combat training, clearing room after room. They climbed up that three-story inner compound, and that's where they found Osama bin Laden. They took him out as he was reaching for a weapon. In a matter of seconds, the world's most notorious terrorist was dead. While Navy SEALs and Army Delta Force are the most recognized, the Army, Navy, Air Force, and Marines all have elite Tier 1 units under the control of a unified combatant command. Before Navy SEAL candidates can graduate to the next level of training, they must survive the most anticipated and feared part of BUDS training, Hell Week. For a grueling six days, these men must push themselves beyond their limitations, or they will go home. The secrets that we keep are very, very necessary. We don't like people to know where we've been, where we're going, where we've come back from. One thing remains clear. The escalation of black budgets may point to one of America's greatest military secrets. That the future of American warfare and the global war on terrorism lies largely in black ops. And the elite warriors who are prepared to sacrifice their own lives for the safety of their nation.